morning, good morning. This is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. I'm going to do a quick morning visit with you guys, just checking on the atmosphere today, politically and elsewhere. Uh, literally, today, literally, it's raining and very yucky here. Um, I saw these, <laughs> we heard this screaming this morning. We saw three uh, bald eagles two of them which were bald and this other giant one which I think was their baby but it hadn't doesn't have the white head yet and I think it takes years for that to happen but that they were kind of fighting over a fish or something and it was on the beach I took a little video I'll put it here or right, put it at the end that's what I'll do okay but it's like massive and then I went outside and of course they flew off anyway so today um I am going to um, just talk about, chat about what's happening right now, today. Uh, I heard over the weekend or last night at a rally, Trump confused uh, Bagram, Alaska with Bagram, Afghanistan. You know, I've done that. Word letters start with a, or words start with a letter, and I, I said, it's an A word, and I get it mixed up. And there are some common letters like S and K maybe in there, or S and N. <clears throat> anyway. I said yes in my last video. He is failing, and his it's hard for him to um, stay with it. And you know what? His he's a frenzied. His mind inside is frenzy. In the last video, I was saying how, as um, a human, he is is just a life of early life of trauma, and he's just and he's managed his entire life to push his childhood trauma down into his inner self tiny little nugget of tiny Donald and he's learned how to build this cocoon or this safety a wall around him he's going to build that wall he built it around himself so nothing could get in and he really pushes back on everything that's where he's at unfortunately his mind is uh physically failing his body I don't feel his body's physically failing I think it's just his brain and his mind but anyway what I, I also saw the big thing this, on the news today is J.D. Vance and uh, the pet eating Haitian people in Ohio. All those poor kids, families who have nothing to say about anything. And all of a sudden they're dragged into this bomb threats and school closures and uh, the fear mongering. And it is a huge change for to have that many immigrants coming to a city. and they But they welcomed them originally. And I think J.D. Vance is... I think he's losing some of his soul. I mean, or not losing some of his soul, but he's hurting some of his soul. And I don't feel like it's his quote unquote normal. I feel like he's fed into this whole narrative of um, fear and power. And he's, he loves it at the moment. When I get into his energy, I also feel that kind of, <clears throat> not quite like Trump, um, if I'm J.D. Vance, I don't feel that frenzy like I do with Trump, but I feel like I have like a whole table or options right in front of me, kind of like the Seven of Cups card, which if you guys know that, it's all these different things that you have to choose between. And it's like an illusion. You like get really confused. And so instead, you you kind of get lost. And I think that's kind of where I feel like he is right now. Not that he's completely lost but in his goal oriented goal oriented mind I think he's a little bit lost um his wife seems totally normal and totally nice but he isn't doing his state a service or he's doing his state a disservice at this point but anyway I'm gonna pull some cards on if they're gonna stop with the pet eating Haitians. I feel like it's given them publicity. Like in my last video, Trump just likes any publicity. There's no such thing as bad publicity in his mind. It's all fine. It's all okay because he's getting on the airwaves. And then if he gets out there, they're going to put him on. This is how it used to be. He can talk about it. He would go on any place, any news show. And he still thinks, Trump does, thinks that he can get away with things. Strength. So I look at this as the lion and being the king of the jungle. And this, the highest level of this card is having courage to do the right thing. Um, and if I'm, 
I don't feel... I feel like he's in deep. I'm seeing a pool of blackness when I come, when I'm thinking of J.D. Vance. <clears throat> like he's kind of drowning in this tar-like substance. Not drowning, but swimming. And it's uh, not good. It looks yucky. Um, but he's afloat. He's not drowning. He's heads above water or above all of this stuff. And I don't... And... You know, our skin absorbs stuff. It absorbs everything. So I think he's absorbing it too. Justice. Yeah. It's going to end. It's going to, the rooster, what is it? The chickens are going to come home to roost or whatever it is. He wants to be king. Because, you know, the Republican Party or the GOP wants to get Trump in there. Just get him in there. And they'll uh, file for the 12th Amendment. 12th, 25th Amendment um, impeachment, whatever it's called, 25th Amendment characterization of Trump, and then they'll replace them with J.D. Vance. I think that's their bottom line. That's what they're going for because Trump has all this, these uh, voracious voters. <clears throat> so the pet eating thing, I don't think it's going anywhere. He's ch <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Morning. Vance is continuing to absorb that blackness but in the heart of his heart I don't think that's him I think he's just getting sucked up into it <clears throat> and somebody had asked about just a side note diseases of the future because COVID vaccines are coming out up in Canada for this year's very variation or variety or it's early and um and somebody had asked about diseases of the future. So that's the weather for today, the atmospheric weather. I wanted to see um, <clears throat> something at the end of the year. Why do I think the end of the year? Not like bad disease coming, but I don't think. I feel like there's a wall at the end of the year. Diseases of the future, diseases... Right now it's fine. This vaccine is working or the vaccines for flu and coronavirus, COVID are working. Something December, January, there might be a shift. And I'm not sure if that's just a tweak in the vaccine because I know that can't happen overnight. But I see a wall at the end of the year. Why is that? I'm not sure. Let me pull a couple cards. Diseases of the future. The Hierophant. Look at that as government. And there's a key. So they, I think they might a shift in the variant or the type of vaccine. Maybe there's going to be something that's going to uh, come into play. And then I get the grief card. Fear. Sadness. something by the end of the year why 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 and the magician but it looks like it's going to be okay i think there's going to be some fear coming up people are going the government's going to say and then it's going to move quickly they will be um they will be bringing things quickly so there will be something maybe maybe it's small maybe it's larger at the end of the year <clears throat> why do i see a wall i have no idea but it goes to some end of december january where Government says, wait a minute, we got to do this and this. Or maybe it's a way to spread out the vaccine more or uh, limit something. Um, there's some other thing. But they're going to take, it's going to be worrisome, but then we're going to get it taken care of and it's going to move quickly. So no fear there. Uh, yeah. And then I wanted oh, <coughs> P. Diddy, John Combs. He got seriously arrested seriously indicted and I did a video I know, was it like five months ago or so and I went into his past life and I also saw uh, Jay-Z and um, Beyonce and I looked into Tupac and he was very chatty Tupac was very chatty with me and he he did say that P. Diddy had or at the time 
Puff Daddy, whatever, had something to do with his death. And he didn't actually pull the trigger, but he had something to do with his death. Entertainment purposes. This is what I, I'm seeing in my mind's eye. But the other thing Tupac said was that it's time to move on. Let's go ahead. Let's move forward. He's like, I want to, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want the world to worry about me anymore. It's like time to move on. That's what I got from him. But P. Diddy or Sean, Puffy D, Puffy Dad, Puff Daddy Combs, he, in a past life, I saw him as like Genghis Khan. He, so that was like a thousand years ago, maybe, I think 800, a thousand, whenever Genghis Khan was around. Fathered so many children, uh, just went around the world conquering. And initially when he was raided, I saw him being a little um, sorry, you know, and remorseful that he did these things and he wanted to be more like prayerful. I see him go up on a hill and be like a monk and, okay, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to do the right thing. But whatever this thing was, was in a metal box and it wasn't going anywhere and it's hard and it, and he couldn't, he had to drag it with him and he couldn't. Um, I also felt like the remorse was only temporary on his, and this was like four or five months ago. Whenever that happened, um, I felt like if given time, he would just really resort or revert back to his old ways, maybe not as extreme. Um, you know, power, greed, sex, money, it all feeds that ego. And do you want to blow up that ego? So his karmic path in this life is to resolve some of the pain he caused others in that previous Genghis Khan life. And, you know, karmic patterns repeat themselves. So he may have had done this multiple times in many lives. But <clears throat> justice is happening in the modern times, you know, because you just can't go around pillaging and raping and murdering people. Not that he's murdered anybody. Maybe. Probably not. Um, mostly just for his own gratification. and But for him, when I think about him now, if I'm in his energy, he's very jiggly. I feel in nerves. I feel like he is not happy. I know he's in jail in a federal prison. Um, I'm sure he's separate from everybody else. He's not in general pop, as they call it. But I feel him shaking. I feel him being very nervous. Um, very scared, very scared. I'm in his energy and he feels small. <clears throat> I feel like he feels small now. The power has been stripped from him. Even though I know he's really counting on his lawyers as, a, as one does, you know, in this situation. I feel bouncing. I'm bouncing around the room. Like, I'm nervous, anxious, I can't sit still. And I don't know if that's his personality normally, but that's the energy I feel within him. And it's not remorseful. I don't feel regret or remorse. I feel anger and nervousness. Like, how not how dare they do this, but <clears throat> how could this happen? And he's lost that power, and he's pretty furious about it that he can't control his own life. He can't control his existence. And he's in this box where he's never really felt that box before. Um, completely, maybe, in his upbringing. But let's see. Six of Swords. Okay, so he wants to go from these crazy, sad, difficult times to calm waters. He's ready. <coughs> And what I heard is that, I've heard both ways, they could let him out on bail. I'm sure he's got the best defense attorneys. But due to his uh, intimidating witnesses and his possibility of a right flight risk and all his very serious crimes, which have a minimum 15 years, minimum, if alleged crimes, alleged crimes, uh, he... Defense might do something. There's lots of variables here, and I can't pin it down. Lots of variables between the judge's 
the judge is thoughtful, but also considerate of the celebrity status. But it's law, so he's looking at it. This is what law is. We're just going to follow the law. Um, I don't think the judge has decided, but I have a feeling he's going to be in there. I don't think they're going to let him out. They'll keep appealing it, and eventually I think they'll get to some sort of agreement where uh, he can get out on a special circumstance kind of thing where he's very controlled, I think. But that's not right away. I think he's going to stay in jail for now. I think. You know, things change. Time passes. Free will and all that. The judge looks at him, if I'm that judge, I think its name is Anderson, the new judge, not the magistrate, but the new judge. And I think he looks contrite. When I look at P. Diddy, he looks contrite from my perspective. His head's down. He's looking at him straight and looking remorseful. But I still don't feel he's going to let him out. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah. And then it'll be a long process of trial. Uh, and it's too early to say whether he'll get sentenced or he'll get found guilty. But there's a lot of evidence and he's the only one in this indictment. So a lot of people have flipped or spoken up and not getting arrested or indicted. So I think they're all aiming it squarely at him. So, mm. all right. I think that's it for today. Things are pretty yucky here. I have a client here in about 45 minutes, and I just wanted to get on here and quickly say hello. Thank you for lo lovely comments. And um, I'm going to maybe try and do these short videos most days. And that way, you know, they're not very fancy. They're just, I get on, jump on, and talk about what's going on. See how that goes. Always an experiment. <laughs> All right, you guys, take care. Till next time.